Alrighty, so you bumped your computer, right? So one day you was at home and you was cleaning or something and you backed into your case and you bumped into your computer and then it just shut down and shut off. Well, there's two things. One, it's either you knocked it out of the power, you knocked the little power cord out, or second, or second, you need to replace your, you need to replace this, which this is your power supply. So this is the main thing I had to replace because I bumped in my computer and it just shut off. I tried to turn it back on and nothing happened. It didn't even do a post boot. It, the fans didn't even spin or anything. All it did was stay like it was. Basically, like basically when I did this, it just stayed like this when I was pressing the pressing my power button. But that's what happens, guys, when you bump your computer and it cuts off. You need to get it replaced. Check that first. That'd be the first thing you check, and then do a diagnostic, like the usual, like pull out your RAM and pull out your CMOS battery, kind of like right here, and then you pull out your graphics card. That's your uh, RX 480 graphics card. This thing is beefy. It's an 8 gigabyte version of it from XFX. I thought it was this because when I bumped it, I bumped it kind of hard. But, like, that's the thing. Like, these computers are very fragile. Like, when you build them yourself, you also got to have it in the right way. Um, If you have this upside down you have this fan set up the, the wrong way upside down okay now if you got a fan on the bottom like i have it on mine this is a gamer x um set a 70 model your fan is supposed to go upside down like this upside down like that and then it goes in and then your power supply will be on your left instead of like this upside down because i won't get in any ventilation if uh, if I had it sitting up this way, because I got a glass shield right here protecting everything, but um, also ventilation will make your resistors pop. Also, if you can see inside the fan right here, you see that little white right here. That's like a little bit of white. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna make a part two on this of me installing the new power supply and getting it to work again. But as you can see these white all this white stuff that is the, the capacitors busting and that's the juices and stuff that's inside of it that stops you that stops him from frying up and this will save this saved your motherboard right here this did this side power supply saved my motherboard so now i ain't got to get no replacement right now for another for a while and on top of that i still got a lot of power out of this thing i still can get 1000 ap easy i'm good but other than that, if you ever bump your computer, this is this is the first thing you check and check for those white. Just check for them little white thing, that that white uh, and strange smells too. Cause this one got a burnt smell. It's got like a um, like a brand new smell type burn smell. You can smell it. It's going to be like a funny looking smell. That would be your resistors. But other than that, if you ever bump your computer, guys, I'm repeating this one more time. If y'all bump your computer, check your power supply. And this is the thing that you need to get replaced on here. You don't need to go through all of this, all of these steps right here, unless your computer still turns on. Now, if your computer still turns on after you bump it, fine. Go through all those, all of those diagnostic steps like pulling out your RAM piece by piece and then disconnect it and reassemble the whole computer um i just saved you the trouble and i hope y'all have a good day finance ways and signing out peace.